By nature, a narcissist is an opportunist. They use your own emotions and beliefs against you if it serves them, which is why you cannot afford to make these five mistakes with them. Because if you do, you will stay stuck forever. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. In this episode, we will learn about five mistakes you cannot afford to make with a narcissist. If you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, please do so to become a part of this expanding community. Also, I have created a free guide wherein I have answered the top 10 questions every survivor of narcissistic abuse asks. To download it now, click the link here or in the description and get access for free. Let's get started with number one. You cannot believe their promises. Deceitfulness, chicanery and underhandedness run in the blood of a narcissist. Nothing they say can be trusted because they are morally corrupt and have a broken moral compass. Their conscience is dead and they do not care about right or wrong. All they are concerned about is what they need and how to get it. You cannot believe their promises because they say one thing but end up doing the complete opposite of it and fake promises are just another tool in their arsenal to elude you. They say whatever they think can get them supply and do not worry about sticking with any of it because they never mean to fulfill the promised things right from the beginning. They do what I call math work by uttering empty and emotionless words. They follow the script, expect you to believe them and think you are a fool for doing so. To establish trust, they may brag about their loyalty and how they never break promises. But when the time comes to fulfill them, they let you down without a second thought. They do not take anything seriously they say to you in any way. Number two, fall for their hype. Narcissists use constant virtue signaling to mask their flaws. They may repeatedly talk about or display how kind and empathetic they are and can never see anyone in pain. They may participate in philanthropic and altruistic activities to project an image that gets them collective admiration and attention. They get everyone to believe that they are a kind, compassionate and giving individual who cannot think of harming anyone. But as you know, it is all a facade. The monstrous side is known to you and only you. The masses who are under their spell never believe what you have to say about the narcissist, which unfortunately isolates you further. To entrance and fool people, they may post videos or photos of themselves on social media, helping the less fortunate or attending church or other religious or spiritual organizations. They may also pursue careers in helping fields like nursing, psychology, education, or ministry. But it is all a trick to make you and others believe they are good people and can do nothing wrong. Number three, live in hope that they will change. If you believe there is good in everyone, especially the narcissist, and they can change, you can get trapped in what I call hopeless hope. You can end up giving multiple chances to an individual who sees every chance as a time to exploit you further. You can get objectified, used, taken advantage of, and treated like a doorbell. As good and ideal as it feels to believe everyone is good and light, it is not true. There is dark side to humanity that does not care about how positive you are. It only cares about feeding on others and you need to accept and embody that. You can't believe in a person's possible change when they do not see anything wrong with their actions. Do not let their potential convince you to stay and waste your life. Waiting for them to change could consume years of your effort that you could invest in someone who is worth it. Narcissists cannot change because they do not acknowledge that something is wrong with them. They do not care enough about others to recognize or accept that their behaviors are abusive, hurtful, and damaging. You cannot change what you do not acknowledge. Number four, believe that they are flawed but good people. You may assume that the narcissist you are with is a good person because they are not bad at all times and there are also moments in the relationship when they are nice to you, when they embrace you, bring you gifts, take you out, spend time with you and do other stuff. That says they are good. You may believe they have anger issues that can be resolved with your unwavering support. You just need to be more present, tolerant and giving. But that is not true. That is not the full picture. You need 
to fill in the gaps and see how they treat you when they aren't nice. You need to see the monster underneath these good times because their nice side isn't the only side you experience. It's your cognitive dissonance that has created this confusion and out of avoiding the pain that you can feel by accepting things as they are, you are justifying their behavior through these good times. Bring this good and bad together and see the pattern that emerges from the cycle of highs and lows. The truth will set you free as it will come out. You must look at their overall personality and behaviors to find these patterns and you will find your freedom. Number five and the last one, constantly and repeatedly forgive them. When you say, I forgive you, healthy people here, I am giving you a second chance and you need to make things right. But when you say, I forgive you to a narcissist, they hear, you did nothing wrong and I apologize for being so upset with you. You can treat me however you want to and I won't complain. A narcissist views forgiveness as permission to further abuse you, cross your boundaries, violate you and treat you worse than ever. They may even look into your eyes and sincerely apologize, but it won't be real. They may cry, but all of it will be an attempt to get away with what they have done. It would be a way to keep you in the trap and continue getting supply from you. Forgiving them repeatedly when you are in a relationship with them will make the situation worse. You need to know your limits, say no and leave when you have to. Final forgiveness done from a distance once you have left the narcissist is different because it's more about you than them. It's about letting go and moving on. But it is very important to note that you do the forgiveness work only if you resonate with it. If you don't, you can focus on becoming indifferent towards the narcissist and that will do the job. In a nutshell, you can't give them the benefit of the doubt and expect that they will feel remorse and change. That was it for today's episode. I hope you found it helpful and if you did, drop a like, drop a comment, share this video and make sure to subscribe. I'll talk with you in the next one. Until then, let the healing begin.